Okay, everybody, this is the, um, what should we call it? P Pulse Width Modulator Igniter in a uh, waterproof uh, box. All we have here is the positive, negative coming out, and again for the loop system back to the battery from the system. Um, I just want to document this in case something goes wrong. Um, we had a loose connection, so it's taken me all day to find out where the hell it is. But um, again, we got it sorted out in the end. Okay, positive, negative coming in here. We have the negative coming in. This is a fan on. These wires are a fan. So the uh, negative is coming into the negative first here on the pulse width modulator. The negative out. Two leads are going, if you can follow my finger, over to the negative in the capacitor. We have the first uh, on the pulse width modulator first. So that was the negative yeah so we have the first of the um, the input to the system we have right we have the positive coming in here following all the way up the side of this uh, board here into the positive of the ignition coil it also uh, comes back out of there into the input, positive input of pulse with modulator. So the output again comes here, follows round to the red and into the positive of the capacitor. The black uh, cable if you can see here from the capacitors negative goes into the negative side of the igniter coil. Um, this output here for high voltage follows around into the I have this is the top of a a rotary motor and these are just um, yeah they're either ferrite or carbon you can see there's a there is a small gap there and I'll show you that uh, as I turn the system on but if we follow the system again we have one side coming out and we also have one of these uh, positive sides coming in so positive from the battery goes direct here to this igniter coil, positive comes out into the spark gap and also out back to the positive here in. Okay, we're up to the output now from the spark gap following this coil here in and again just lighting one I don't know if you can get under there in one out the other in one out the other in one and out the other until we come up here and again the last is to loop the system comes out and back to the battery or you can connect it to ground or to the pulse width modulator or wherever. I'll switch her on now so you can see lights on, fans on, systems uh, all go, we have all the lights on on the test board. Now I'll take this out and you'll hear 
the lights have gone off and you can see the spark so when I put the bulb back in finds its own stabilized frequency and the spark goes okay next I want to uh, combine sorry about the drawing this high voltage drawing here of a um, Capanzi alternative Capadnadza alternative so using this system's high voltage I hope to connect I hope to connect it in here we have the spark we have the we have the spark app and the uh, igniter coil um, so I hope I can connect it to to this here all it is is um, again I have a ferrite rod I will, I will place uh, in, in the middle nothing there at the moment piece of plastic tubing I've taken some um, ordinary um, electrical cable stranded string cable and uh, started from the bottom clockwise and then um, again back counterclockwise and we come out here so as you can see I, I've just looped it when I went uh, clockwise to counterclockwise and then we have this piece here um, this will come out to the input on my spark instead of uh, having lights I will put the uh, input straight into there then the um, the large copper coil here again counterclockwise it's important I will take uh, <clears throat> this piece comes out here is here I'll connect with the output from the load lights or whatever and the other side of the load will go into here and connect with the other end here here and the light coming out so uh, stay posted to the next video Phew, I don't know, uh, I'm, I'm also looking at, uh, I've just made a uh, Tesla pancake uh, coil. I want to uh, try it on my uh, induction oven. I'll, um, I'll also make a uh, short film on that, just to uh, see how we're progressing. But... Um, just another quick overview of how how we are wired if anybody's interested my interest was to have a system that could be waterproofed taken anywhere on a boat Um, maybe I need some I could I could do if anybody's interested in donating some um, thin life uh, four pod batteries or whatever they're called they're very thin lightweight that can hold uh, the 12 volt um, that would be interesting to test um, how that all goes together then we don't don't, don't have to uh, mess around with this uh, 12 volt uh, yeah, rather large suitcase battery. <laughs> Stay posted. Thanks, YouTubers.